birds are nesting and birds are fledging. We've got, um, <laughs> Kim just saw a bird fall out of the tree and now we've got, I don't know what he is, like a little um, thrush or um, starling or something, a little baby fledgling. And he doesn't seem to have the strength to fly back up into the tree right out of the garden yet, so I'm not going to hang around here too long. I'm giving him a little space to hide in, but he's trying to hide behind the tree. Just want to make sure no cats get him. How did he get to the garden then if he can't fly very Well, far? he could fly, he's just tied himself out. Oh, Whoa, he's fallen out of the. Little drinky, there you go, little drinky, you there. Lovely. How are you going to get wet feet, you clumsy clock? Bad news, I'm afraid. You may remember that we had some blue tits nesting in our bird box. And the bird box takes photos, little hidden camera, little hidden infrared light, and puts them up on Twitter every time there's a bit of movement. And we saw the blue tit made a nest, attracted a mate, and they had ten eggs. And the eggs hatched. Um, but then it looked like one of the chicks died because it was brought away from the other chicks to the front of the bird box and then it seems that all of the chicks have died so I can only guess that there must be some disease or something so all of the chicks died so just at some point the parents left the nest and uh, the chicks weren't moving anymore and having a having a British garden that attracts birds this is the sort of thing that happens one very cool thing that's happened is that we have been getting a woodpecker in our tree feeding regularly so I imagine that woodpecker is also trying to feed his young <laughs> so he's been searching out more sources of food and he's found our tree so he's flying from the woods to our tree and back again haven't managed to capture him on video yet because he's very suspicious and I don't want to scare him off because he's so lovely and that's quite rare for us Strength workout right now, keeping an eye out for him coming back. It's like a biathlon, you know. Control your breathing, zoom in. He's pretty. Really big tide today, this is amazing. Uh, the tide is way out there and way in there are those two roots at the bottom of uh, Bowen's parlour that most of the time aren't even uncovered as in if you were to try to get to the bottom of those roots you'd be at low tide you'd have you'd be up to your knees in water so we've been waiting for a low tide day today's a really low tide day and it's Kim's birthday mind you uh, the tide is turning about now and when it starts to come in it's gonna really it's going to really come in fast. places like this exist. This is like a mini canyon in our own backyard. Just love it. It's amazing. You can't feel the burn going up these super steep slopes to get back up the hillside. That's Kim exhausted for a birthday.
it's a huh? Oh, I just stepped on a crab. <laughs> it's a bank holiday weekend. It's beautiful and sunny. So everybody's coming to Wales because it's it's the best place to go. Where else would you go? And uh, we're going to a nice quiet crag that people don't tend to go to. There's a couple of routes on there I've been wanting to do for a while. And look, we've got Annabelle with us. Seagull eating dead crab. I am approaching 250,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is very strange. Um, I never thought I'd get to 100,000 subscribers, and that did take a long time and a lot of work, and then it's rocketed up to almost 250,000. And the weird thing is, the weird thing is, I've gone the wrong way. The weird thing is, it's got a bit steep. We're climbing. Oh no, we're here. I want to climb those underneath those uh, little stepped roofs there. Cool, All right. Um, that's because I was talking to you. This is called White Pillar, by the way. Um, pretty easy, pretty nice. Can't see Gower, good limestone. I'm very excited about this route, and I don't know why. I think I'm just very excited because I want to climb some there, some trad routes. That's it, that's what we're climbing out about up there. The weird thing, the weird thing for me is I haven't done all the classic YouTuber stuff of like and subscribe and hit the bell and that sort of thing and yet I've still managed to amass a number of subscribers. I don't like getting massive numbers of views but the question is when do you start taking it seriously or have I always taken it seriously? As you've seen in recent weeks I've spent a whole ton of money on some new gear and new lighting so that everything looks better um, and is a bit more professional but why if I'm not really chasing views because I'm not I'm not a YouTuber I'm an academic I teach anatomy I just do this extra stuff because it's useful for students, useful for me, and it's fun. Um, so why on earth am I investing so heavily in this? Um, I guess it's that sense of never, never actually doing a good enough job. I think good teachers do this naturally and do this a lot. You deliver a teaching session and then you think about what you just did. And that's maybe a natural thing. If you stand up in front of a group of people and you deliver something, you think, ooh, what did those people think about me? Ooh, how did they feel about me? Ooh, did I do a good job? So that's kind of a normal thing. And as a teacher, you think, okay, did I get my message across? Did the people I was talking to understand what I was saying? If you're always trying to do better, and that's like a natural thing within you, and you're always reflecting on what you just did and how you could do it better, you're going to get better, right? Aren't you? Whereas if you always think, that was fine, I'm done, good, you're never going to improve. And learning's about improving. Right, anyway, right, enough, enough waffling. Let's go on with this route. This is way slappier than I remember. This looks great. There you are. Did a little drone flight. Took off fine, said, yeah, I'm a happy drone. And then out over the sea it said compass error and tried to fly away. So I wrestled with it and it flew into the cliff. Cliffy terrain here. And I found it, it's down there. Oh, oh. 